Hello everyone, my name is Guru Hariharan and I'm the CEO of Boomerang Commerce, a dynamic price optimization platform for enterprise e-commerce. Before I tell you about Boomerang Commerce, let's start with something very obvious. Online retail sales in the US, it is exploding. Something that's not so obvious. Not everyone is growing at the same rate. I worked at Amazon for many years, and there's really one huge reason why Amazon has been able to completely outperform its competitors. Amazon has built a powerful analytical platform that allows them to make pricing decisions every 15 minutes. An average retailer takes 43,000 minutes. That's one month. An average retailer is not able to compete in this new world of e-commerce. There's a huge analytical divide. And an, an online retailer, it just doesn't have a firepower to really power all these changes on a, such a regular basis for all their products. Let's take an example. This is Mr. Retail. John is a category manager for cameras and camcorders at a large electronics retailer. And his problem today is that he's losing revenues and losing market share. So what can he do about it? John, he's not able to compete and he's not able to move products. John's not able to compete because he's, he needs to be able to compete with about 20 online retailers who are selling the same products. And he needs to be able to do that without losing profitability. And he's got to do this for 25,000 products every single hour. And that is a non-trivial problem. And that's where we come in. Introducing Boomerang Commerce. Let's switch to the demo, please. I'm John, and I log into Boomerang Commerce dashboard, which is connected to my e-commerce site. And the next thing I do is that I need to first go in and check out my competitiveness. I pull up my category, cameras and camcorders, and this presents a nice graph. The red portion of this graph are the products which are highly uncompetitive, and the green portion are the ones which are highly competitive. Wow, that seems like a big problem. 60% or more of my products are very uncompetitive. By the way, Boomerang Commerce also allows me to check my competitiveness against more than one retailer. In this case, it is Amazon. So what do I do about this problem? Let's go create a pricing strategy. I come in, and I give it a name and a description, and I choose a product group. And I notice that the competitiveness here is low, but the gross margin rate is high. So perhaps there's some room to play with the pricing over here. That sounds great. Let's choose a strategy now. In this case, I'm gonna choose maximize revenue and maintain margins. In other words said, grow my top line, do not hurt my bottom line. Keep it constant. Next thing, I'm gonna choose the time, time frame for this. Let it run for a month, maybe. And before I hit submit, I want to simulate and do a small what if analysis. Boomerang has looked up its historical data about this retailer and has given me some guidance. In this case, it looks like it's gonna be okay. I'm gonna make decent amount of revenue and margins. I'm pretty excited, I'm gonna get hit submit. Okay, I'm gonna switch gears here. I'm gonna show you a real case study. This is a retailer that we service today. This is a Canon Rebel camera that one of our customers sells you're looking at a graph between October and December of last year. Blue graph represents traffic and page views for this product. And the green graph represents revenue. As you see, this is pretty much a dead skew. There's a lot of traffic on this product, but very little sales. We launched our product for these guys in January. And let's see what happens. Boom. The traffic almost remained the same, and this product pretty much came back to life. You can see the green graph has started showing some activity. Let's move back to the presentation, please. 
Boomerang Commerce is live and in production today and is pricing more than 100,000 products every single day for some of the largest brand names on the internet. And we're, and we're delivering hard business results. Sales up, upwards of 20% increase in large revenue basis, and we've more than doubled margins for many categories that we work with. We are a SaaS platform, and we charge monthly subscription fee for our service. And we have bookings upward of $10 million in multi-year contracts. We added four times more revenue and business in just this past quarter as opposed to the entire of last year. The company is ready to scale, and we've achieved product market fit. We are Boomerang Commerce. We are a dynamic price optimization platform. If you have an e-commerce store, we can dynamically price your items for competitiveness and profitability. Check us out at boomerangcommerce.com and ask us for a demo. Thanks. All right. <laughs> Judges. Walk me through, what's the output of the data post these studies that you see? Is it sort of business intelligence? Is it competitive intelligence mapping it against you know, Staples versus another company? Or is it absolutely. just the so, gift to get at a high level? Absolutely. So the, the, in, uh, the output is essentially a pricing file, as simple okay. as that. So we, are, we have out-of-the-box out integrations into IBM WebSphere and GSI Commerce. And ta our target market is any customers whose, uh, re whose annual retail Large sales are more than $50 million. Yeah. We know the shopping carts we need to, or the e-commerce platforms that we need to integrate into. And we already integrated. It basically just puts a flat file out. It's a very easy integration. And uh, uh, basically, that goes and updates the, f uh, updates the, uh, the price on online for these, si for these sites. OK. And ha who's, who's sort of doing most of your sales today? Is it you guys, or? You're looking at the, he's actually not working right now because he's presenting to you. <laughs> All right. Sounds good. Yeah. How, how does a product get in? So you're, you're covering 100,000 plus products. How does that happen? So walk me through why, you're, why you've picked the products you've picked and how you expand that catalog. So the, the, let me clarify the question. So you're saying, how do we pick the products we want to optimize? You, you cover 100,000 products Yeah, yeah. Right so so uh, really, the, the, the websites that we work with today, um, they have hundreds of thousands of products. And we're in the process of ramping. In fact, we went live with this product. Uh, in fact, this year, January, uh, we were in private beta and closed beta last year for about six months. Uh, we're in the process of ramping. We just got out of a few pilots, which were phenomenally successful, and we've displaced some big dogs from these retailers. And uh, uh, it's mainly because of the, um, the fact that we are online first. Uh, so when we get into these retailers, they basically we go through a ramp up process. We are about, say, a third ramped into, or fourth ramped into their full potential, and they're seeing massive results. And so um, how many, I mean, what's the opportunity? How many companies are there out there that are doing more than 15 mil in revenue? There's about 676 retailers in the world today who are doing more than $50 million in annual retail sales. Um, however, there are two things that are happening there. One, uh, the two positive things that are happening to that number. One is that this number is growing about 10 to 15% year over year just because pe people are selling, just because of the segment growth of online. Second, each of these 676 guys, their revenues are growing year over year. So there's actually a, a multiplying effect that's happening, and we're able to get a lot of, uh, uh, create a lot of value in this. How much do you charge these guys? Um, it's usually a monthly subscription fee, and our ACVs, our contract values are in seven figures. Um, and it, it depends on a number of things, but uh, elevator picture, it depends on the value that we can create. And we've seen some pretty phenomenal value that we can create right now, and we're able to charge a percent of it. Do you have a sensor on that? The value yeah, so the value that we create, like as I said, we've driven about upwards of 20% in uh, incremental sales. And, and so, okay, so one thing is one, retailers either want to drive revenues and there are some retailers who want to drive margins. So the, in the demo, we showed you that you can actually do either of them. Um, so, so in terms of where retailers want to drive revenue, we've driven, uh, in fact, our pilots, we've drawn, driven like, we pretty much doubled revenue. We took, we took like 0.5% of a site's revenue and pretty much doubled it uh, during December. Um, and, uh, On average for your customers? Uh, for, for a couple of customers that we, that we worked with. Again, like we are still a growing company. We've got uh, a few, uh, just a handful of full ACV deals, like full license deals. We're still in the process of ramping up. What, what's your, sorry, go, go John. Go ahead. 
What's, what's your company's biggest risk? Why aren't you guys going to be successful? The biggest risk right now is hiring. So if you guys want no, to... No, next. Wants what? To Every <laughs> company has what, What's your real biggest risk? Is this, okay. a, is this a tech risk? Is this a sales risk? Where, where do you guys no, see actually, this? So the, the, I think the, uh, the big... Uh, I think the, one of the things that we're trying to do right now is de-risk the uh, sales model. Up until now, I've been the only sales guy, and all the sales that we've done is sold by me and serviced by this small team. We need to change this from a performance sales model to an empirical, repeatable sales model. That's what we're trying to do in the next 12 months. How do you get this place? Because you go into a retailer, you help them optimize, you double revenue. Yes. How do they displace you? How do they displace us? Yes. How do they say, okay, we want to stop using you, we want to use someone else? I, I, if somebody else comes up, uh, they, we have a real chance, real risk. But however, pricing is one, one of those things like fulfillment or logistics where if you're in, you're in for at least three to four years. People don't sort of pull out and pull in. Uh, pricing vendors, mainly because all these are like it's outputting some revenue numbers which are being reported to the street and all of that stuff. Uh, so, and the analysts are getting trained on the product and so on and so forth. Uh, usually, what we've seen, and in fact, even our, in our deals, we have seen that we have three year deals uh, and we have committed revenues for about 18 to 24 months. Right. And, and your model, if I'm correct, you're dynamically changing pricing and testing on every transaction to see if it That's right. gets to closure. That's right. So you must have heard about A-B testing online. We're actually doing A-B testing for pricing. And, and all the products that are on your system are UPC products, so you're able to cross-reference them to other Well, not details. necessarily. We actually have some pilots going on with private label products, like uh, store-branded products, um, some of these guys that the logos that you And how are you finding comps to those if they're So it's not just a race to the bottom, right? I mean, it's price optimization. It's not price intelligence. There's a bunch of people who are doing price intelligence. They'll tell you, okay, given this product, what is the other prices on? But what we do is essentially optimize and find the right price. If there's a willingness to pay or a value that I can create for you to come in and pick it up in store today through a buy online pickup in store, I'll actually charge a premium for that. And we, we'll be able to find that extra 50 cents to actually get that. Uh, How many that, variables are you tracking to do that? There are more than 100 variables that we track right now and uh, multiply that by a million uh, for price changes every day. <laughs> so uh, we actually evaluate close to about a million products on a daily basis and do price changes for about 100,000 of them. Cool. Thank so, you. We're, so we're out of time. Uh, that was Boomerang Commerce. Thank you guys very much. Great Thank job. You.